people are talking about pointing out your game management at the line of scrimmage, you know, sort of calling out the line, the, the blitzes coming and whatnot. It's all out of, on film. Where does that kind of come from? Is that a part of the game that you enjoy? Um, definitely. You know, I think it's um, it's hard to do, but it's, you know, solving problems, and I, I enjoy, you know, trying to solve problems. I think um, the coaches do a really good job of preparing you for that, I remember. Even back in OTAs, Bo um, challenged me with, hey, what do you do if it's blitz zero? And we have a normal run play. Like he, could, he probably told me that exact play and that exact run. What would you do against blitz zero back in May when I first got here? And back then, I didn't know what the heck he was talking about. Right. But um, it's cool, you know, to see that um, it's come full circle, and you know, the coaches trust me, and they've you know instilled confidence in me and the guys as well. So the fact that it's not just you, you now have to articulate it, and other guys have to pick it up. So all being on the same page and having that trust. Um, you know, what, what's that like in terms of that trust factor that everybody's hearing what you're talking about and doing what you're asking them to do? Yeah, I think it comes from practice. You know, I've, I've seen the guys up front do that from, you know, when I got here till now, I'll training camp and beginning part of the season. So I know when I um, come in, it's my job to, you know, just try to continue that and try to be as clear as possible for them. Because, you know, like I said, the guys up front have a tremendous job. They have, you know, such a hard job to do in every play. They're fighting their butts off. And so I can try to make the game as easy as I can for them. Um, and so, yeah, it's just, it takes, a, it's a whole team effort. It takes everybody being on the same page. And um, again, that comes a lot from practice and film work. Aiden, you're a guy that, I mean, I, you're from my, my neck of the woods. You were headed to Davenport and now all of a sudden you're in the NFL and you're, you're a starter in the NFL. I'm curious, has it hit you yet? Or that, okay, this is my team now. Um, you know, I'm just trying to take it a day at a time. I, I say often, I think every day has enough of its own to worry about. And mm -hmm. I'm trying to execute that practice and make sure I know um, what I'm doing and make sure I'm, you know, just staying up and doing my job. And so um, I think there's a time to reflect, and I think I definitely want to reflect and be grateful because, you know, I, I've wished to be here for a long time, but at the same time, it's a, there's a task at hand you have to execute. And so I'm, I'm mostly focusing on that. You made several adjustments and some audibles on Sunday. I'm just curious about your comfort level now with what Bo's doing. Yeah, I think, like I said, Bo does a great job of preparing you for that. I think we knew the Giants were going to give us, you know, different looks and they're going to throw a few different things at us. And so throughout the week, that's dialogue that we had. Um, and there's even a couple plays that I made checks and we didn't execute. And so, um, you know, there's always room to improve. There's always things you can work on. And, you know, I think that's what we're trying to do. I know you guys got dialed into the Jets uh, starting today, but uh, did you get, give yourself a chance to watch them a little bit on Monday night? And what did you say? Uh, yes. You know, I was um, de definitely watching. They're, they're a great team, great defense. Um, they got playmakers at all three levels and uh, veteran guys, young guys that are um, just really dynamic players. And so it's going to take a lot of execution from us. We've really got to know what we're doing. They're going to, you know, do what they do, and they're going to do it, you know, with high intensity and try to push us back and create turnovers and things of that nature. So we have to be locked in every play. Um, you know, every play in the NFL is super important, and I, I think, you know, throughout practice we have to focus on that and, and continue that to the game. Your linemen have been joking a lot with you about your age, and uh, Greg Van Roten says, I don't know if you can call him a rookie at that age. Are you enjoying the camaraderie you have with those guys? Uh, definitely. You know, I think um, this is a, a new situation for me. Obviously, I was by far the oldest guy in the college locker room, and so to be, you know, one of the younger guys um, in this locker room and obviously to have a much um, larger age span is pretty cool. And so it's it's been fun to be with guys from different walks of life, different um, seasons in their life, but all coming together to, you know, play the same game and try to execute the same way. So it's been a lot of fun. Those guys have been awesome for me since I've been here, and especially in the last, last week. I'm sure uh, Josh Jacobs is probably a guy you knew about and watched before you are in the NFL, but now you've been uh, here with him for a few months. What, what, what stood out or impressed you the most about working with him? Yeah, I think, you know, we talk about in our quarterback room, JJ's a unique running back. He's very vocal. Um, he's not afraid to ta challenge guys. He's not afraid to challenge himself and hold himself accountable, and I think you know, to have a running back um, who works super hard and obviously led the league in rushing last year to come in and work as hard as he does in practice, um, to, you know, want to communicate as much as he does. He, he really cares about the details, and that's one thing I, I really admire from him. He's, a, he's really a professional, and, you know, I've learned a lot from him. The offensive production slowed down considerably in the second half on Sunday. Was that just a matter of the fact of, of where the score was in the game at that time, or was there something that showed up in the tape that you guys – to not make the adjustment on to counter their adjustments? You know, I think um, we, we were ahead, so we wanted to use good clock management. But at the same time, I think we, we could have done a better job executing. Um, you know, we obviously ran the ball well, and um, JJ did a great job. Offensive line did a great job. But I think, you know, yeah, there's definitely room to improve. Um, we got to continue to push to have 
really a perfect game is what we're looking for. And we played well, but there's still things to work on. And so, yeah, I think, you know, as long as there's mistakes out there, we have things to correct and um, things to try to get better at. Aiden, most guys get the summer to work on building relationships with the receivers, lots of passing in the offseason. You didn't, then coming into camp, you were the third string guy. How's that coming with getting the reps and getting with those guys and building that rapport? Yeah, it's, you know, it's been cool to actually be the guy out there that's throwing the passes. I think, you know, I try to learn a lot from watching and um, unfortunately was on the bench a little bit in college and had to learn that way as well. And so I think I've, you know, tried my best to get good at getting mental reps and being on the sideline and things of that nature. And so being out there, you know, those reps are, are priceless. You get a feel for the timing and as many times as you see it, um, you know, being able to go out there and actually do it is huge. So that's been a lot of fun. Just one more thing on Josh. I think uh, after the game, AP said that he's kind of the heartbeat of your offense. He thinks everyone takes on a different demeanor when, he, when he's running as hard as he can. Did, did you kind of feel that in the opening drive, especially? Definitely. Um, JJ is, like I said, he's a super hard worker. He was, you know, very vocal before the game to the entire offense about um, what we need to do, what we need to do to execute, and more than just the X and O's, the passion and the energy is going to take. And you know, he does a lot of times set the tone for us. Um, like I said, challenges got challenges different guys, challenges himself. Um, so JJ has been, like I said, just a super hard worker and a, a super um, awesome leader for us. Aiden, uh, what's it been like with Devontae Adams thus far? Yeah, Devontae has been awesome for me. He's, uh, you know, soft-spoken a lot of times, but, um, you know, he definitely can get intense and, you know, he's an um, ultra competitor who loves to win. I think more than anything, I've I've admired how much, um, how, how hard he goes at practice. It was not something I, I expected. and. You know, he is always out there at practice running routes as hard as he can. And, um, you know, it, there's a reason that he is who he is because he, he you know, prepares um, and he cares about the game a lot. So Devontae is, is obviously a dynamic player, you know, a super unique talent at, at wide receiver. But I think more than that, I, I think I've learned more from him off the field in terms of what it takes to be a pro, um, watching film, taking care of your body, um, challenging guys, like I've said before. So he's he's been awesome.